If you're looking to build your team, make sure you head on over to CheapMaddenCoins.com for the cheapest prices, fast delivery, and 24-hour customer support. And make sure to use Cold Wolf for 10% off. In today's video, we're going to talk about a pass play like the one from the Saints playbook that I showed you guys. But for people that are in the Patriots playbook, uh, it's going to be out of the gun bunch. And it's a play we're gonna, we've are gonna we already talked about, but I'm going to show you guys since the new patch update. Uh, the different adjustments that you can make to the play to make it even more lethal. Now, before we get into this, man, make sure you drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel for more content. And let's talk about this play right here. It's going to be the classic Pat Sell. A lot of people running this play, man. I'm going to show you the different variations uh, with this play. Now, the Pat Sell right here against cover three, man. Run it the way I'm telling you. Is I'm just going to run random cover three. Run it this way if you just want to annihilate cover three. There's different ways you can run it with the way I'm about to show you. Now... The X route over here on the left side against cover three will pull the cover three zone away to where you could put a wheel route. So like right here on the running back white, I'm gonna put him on a wheel route. Like I said, I've shown you guys this already out of the Saints playbook. If you're using the Saints playbook, then you're probably already using a variation of this uh, out of that playbook. But for the Patriots, it's gonna be out of this formation, the gun bunch, which makes the formation, the actual set itself even more lethal. Next thing, I'm, well, what I'm going to do first, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm going to max protect by pressing LB or L1 right stick up for max protect, right? That's going to put my running back and my tight end on blocks. And then I'm going to put Y on the wheel route. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to slide protect to the left because I'm going to be looking to the left. Now, if you're going to leave your running back where he's at, if you're going to leave White where he's at, then I suggest you utilize a wide receiver as an extra blocker. So I'm going to bring Hogan from the left side, I mean from the right side, to the left and snap the ball once he gets to the middle uh, to help out with some blocking to where I can wait for this wide route to be down the field by himself, which is going to happen in pretty much every single cover three in this game because the X route will pull that blue. Uh, I guess the game doesn't see the wheel route as an eligible receiver on the left side of the field, so they're going to just... The cover three logic, he's just going to follow the X route. And by the time he realizes it, it's too late. So I'm going to bring Hogan over here on this side, and I'm going to snap the ball, right? And then I'm going to look at the pocket presence. I'm looking at the Y route. Y is going to be way over here by himself. It's just, just it's going to be like that against every cover three defense in the game since the patch update. Now, before the patch, because you remember when the game came out and fake screen wheel was just pulling those uh, zones away? Then they patched it, and everybody's like, man, fake screen wheel's dead, blah, blah, blah. And then they patched the game again and brought back that whole cover three BS, man. That's why fake screen wheel, you can use it again. But these plays are a lot more powerful than the fake screen wheel. I want to say because your opponent will never know when it's coming. That's the problem with it. You know what I'm saying? And sticks can't even stop it because in sticks, all you have to do is streak the X guy and still run the wheel route, and he'll be wide open down the field. So that is the other adjustment you can do. So let's talk about this one time, one more time. Uh, this adjustment, there's other things you can do, and I'm going to show you guys the other ways you can run the pat cell. So we're going to max protect and then put Y on a wheel route. Okay, and then what we're going to do is motion Hogan over. Once he gets to the middle, I'm going to snap the ball. That's an extra blocker for me. I didn't slide protect to the left. That's my fault. But you're going to notice that no one cares about this guy over here. That zone comes back down. And given the speed of your running back, it's going to be a TD. So again, we're going to max protect. Put Y on a wheel route. Bring Hogan over. Snap the ball. Watch the defense. Look at your pocket presence. No one to get rid of the ball like this. Simple. This guy's down the field by himself for another TD against cover three. Now, whether they make cover three adjustments, yes, the sticks will stop. The sticks will back up to where they're supposed to, but the wheel route will be open as long as you streak the X uh, receiver. It's, it's simple. It's not that hard. So remember, Max protecting, bringing Hogan over like this. And I actually, that is some, I'm glad that happened right there, okay? Because that's just me being lazy. I'm glad that happened right there so you guys will know. Do not let your receiver get in, in between the center and the quarterback, bro. Okay? That's just laziness by me. And I'm glad it happened so, I, so I'm able to point it out. So whenever you're bringing your wide receiver over here, snap the ball. Don't snap it right when he's in between everybody, bro, because then that's going to be a bad thing for you. So by the time he recognizes what's going on, it's too late. And we get all these yards. Bring this guy over. And just wait, man. You got a lot of blockers, man. You're, you're, you're all right with the blockers. You know what I'm saying? You're okay. We get another TD off this play. 
I'll run it a couple more times against these random cover threes, and then we'll talk about the other adjustment that you can make. A matter of fact, you know what we could do is we could put wide a wheel route and then motion them out. The only problem with that is, is now you cannot motion your other wide receiver as a blocker. So in essence, you're actually losing a blocker, but you're able to get down the field a little bit faster. You know what I'm saying? So you see the pass rush was a little bit more hectic right there, uh, but we were able to throw the wheel route a little bit faster. So you, you know what I mean? So it's like one of those, you just better, you just better hope. <laughs> You better hope that you, you can get the ball off in that situation as we're going to do this again because i'm showing you guys uh for the video but you'll see that even if he's and see that's the thing people are always telling me i'll just man up the running back will routes destroy that man coverage because when he breaks up the field that's where you have the problem that him breaking up the field if someone's ever running mid blitz on you run verticals run uh verticals right here right and then just wait for the B route to get open down the field. He will break that man defense. If you have your fast wide receiver, which is Hogan, a good route runner with some good speed, uh, and then they're playing like mid blitz, you just max protect, right? And then like drag somebody, the RB crossing route. You can leave everybody the way they're at like that. And B will get open down the field against the man defense all the time. It, 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 it never fails. Matter of fact, let me let me see if I could. Well, actually I can't because I don't have my second controller on. But you'll, you'll be able to see that. That's just another uh, a thing you guys can use. So back to the pat cell. Like I said, you can wheel route this guy and then motion him out. Lock your tight end. Make sure you're in the slide protect. Now you'll see the defensive lineman where this guy's actually where he's going to pass rush me. So I'm going to come to the right a little bit. But you're going to notice that down the field over here. It's bunny all the time. Adjustments or no adjustments. It's just the way the patch is now. Now, another way that people run the, the pat cell is uh some people will bring b and uh, uh, a slant him and then streak rb the way i would recommend you guys run it i wouldn't use the slant i would just run it as a simple flood concept so what i would do is i would streak b motion him out right slant rb and then put a on a flat like this now you can read the flat like right there wide open boom get me some yards all right you can read the flat really quick if he's open like me personally if he's wide open right at the jump I'm going to take it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so that's a way you can run it. You motion B out whenever you put him on a streak. Uh, am I even in the right play? Okay. Yeah, you motion B out because it forces the zone play for those clouds and those hard flats. So they're going to have to jump to their zone immediately. So if he's playing hard flats with the streak motion out, he's going to have to jump to his hard flat instead of waiting and picking and choosing who he wants to guard because there's nobody in the area. So we're forcing the zone play with the streak. So if he's a cloud, he's going to be in the cloud which will open up the A route on the flat. Uh, and if he's in a, you know, if he's in a hard flat, he either has to jump that flat route, or if he's in a cloud, he has to stay back at the back of his cloud flat. And then we're gonna block our running back. And if you want, like right there, there's he's there. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna wait for X. X is gonna be open on this side of the field. Now, against cover three stock, they will jump into a man defense where they're where they're actually guarding him. But with cover three adjustments, they don't. So he's going to be even more open. So this play preys on cover three adjustments. Uh, so if you're getting smoked by this play, uh, probably want to leave seams and then like try to use her a flat route or something like that. Because these plays are hard to stop, bro. I'm telling you guys right now. So motioning out B, slanting RB, and then putting A on a flat. And then just watching, bro. Just watch the play. He stays in a hard flat. You see that right there? You're going to have X over here by himself. Even if the cover three says that they have to play man defense, by the time they recognize it and see what's going on and playing, especially at fast wide receivers over there, I mean, it, it's going to be very hard to stop that kind of play. So remember, once again, we're on a real uh, wheel route if you want to run this play. We'll actually max protect first, then put one on a wheel route, right? And then utilize one of your wide receivers. Do not let them get in between your quarterback and the center. That's just bad. And then right here, you'll just annihilate cover three, bro. You know what I'm saying? Just annihilate it. So there it is, man. Hope you guys enjoy the play. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I just, I've already gone over this play in previous videos. I just wanted to uh, refresh your minds with a new adjustment that you can make because I did provide one for people that are in the Saints playbook. So I figured I'd make one for the people in the Patriots playbook. Uh, so there it is, man. Peace.